Hiroshi Yashimura, born October 22, 1940, was a Japanese musician and composer. He is considered a pioneer of ambient music in Japan. His music lies mostly in the minimalist genre of Kanko Ungoka, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, which is considered environment music, or soft electronic melodies infused with the sounds of nature. Hiroshi has been somewhat of an obscure musician as there's a limited amount of information out there that I could find about him, but he has been gaining popularity over the years. In this video, I will be providing some information about him, much of which is from his Wikipedia page, and some album recommendations as I feel his work needs to be noticed more often. Now, before I would go into further into this video, I wanted to say if you have any more information about Hiroshi Yashimura, please comment in the comment section down below and let me know about his biography, his life events, as I've only found it's a little bit of information of his life. Hiroshi Yashimura was born in Yokohama, Kanaga in 1940. He started to learn piano at the age of five. He graduated from Wasaide School of Letters, Arts and Sciences in 1964. He was inspired by the Fluxus movement and the work of Harry Parch and Eric Satie. He started the computer music group Ananami, I hope I'm pronouncing that correct, in 1972. The 1970s saw Yoshimura heavily inspired by Brian Eno, who had similar minimalist ambient style and an interesting electronic music. In 1978, he was commissioned by NHK to compose the piece Almost Cloud. In addition to solo performances and improvisational music, he performed production performances and sound objects, environmental music containing graphic design and sound design, visual poetry, and worked on sound design business in collaboration with TOA. He also made music for galleries, museums, building spaces, and train stations. He was at the forefront of environmental music. He worked as a part-time lecturer in the industrial design department at the Faculty of Engineering of the University of Chiba and at the music design department of Kanatachi College of Music. He held workshops on citizen participation in museums. Sadly though, Yoshimura died of skin cancer in 2003. Yoshimura has been gaining a resurgence of popularity, especially here on YouTube. There's a much, much better made and more informative video about Yoshimura that I'm going to put on screen from this channel, Stevem and I will link the video in the description below. Now, I have only recently discovered this guy's stuff, and the two albums I like listening to is Four Postcards, which came out in 2004, and is the background music for this video. The other one is the more popular and well-known album of Wetland, which came out in 2003. I feel Hiroshi needs more attention and he is getting it through people discovering his work on YouTube and I am glad this is actually happening as he really does need more and more attention. I hope you guys check out his work as I love great ambient music and discovering lost gems here on YouTube. Ambient music is just amazing to listen to as I tend to put it in the background of my videos and I just listen to it on my own, my free time when I have found amazing pieces of ambient music. If you have any ambient groups you love and would want to recommend, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. Also, if there's any more information, like I stated in the beginning of this video, that you have or that I missed out on this video, please let me know and comment in the comment section down below. I hope y'all enjoyed this short video as I tried to be give as much information as possible, even though that information was very limited. Please like and subscribe, and like always, have a wonderful day.